I think we're very fortunate that this child did not die. A seven-year-old girl is in a Winnipeg hospital suffering serious injuries right now after she was attacked by a pack of wild dogs in a northern Manitoba community late last week. Shimadawa First Nations Chief Eric Redhead says the little girl was playing outside when the dogs attacked her. She suffered serious wounds as a result and was quickly airlifted to Winnipeg to receive medical help and assess the full extent of her injuries. And unfortunately, she was very, very badly hurt. Um, my understanding is she's going to need extensive reconstructive surgery. Redhead says this is the worst dog attack the community has ever experienced and it prompted the culling of over 100 dogs in Shimadawa as an immediate response to keep their children and community members safe. Redhead says it's not something he wanted to do, but it had to happen. And he's now working with local animal rescue groups to try and deal with the overpopulation of wild dogs. Our province is in crisis, and I really don't think people understand that. Katie Powell, founder of Save a Dog Network, says she isn't passing judgment on anyone in the community for calling the dogs and doing what they felt was necessary to keep people safe, given the limited resources the community has to house, foster, or relocate dogs. Right now, Powell is working to charter a plane to Shimadawa First Nation to save any strays that still remain. We have a wonderful, wonderful res dog army that are willing to fight for all these dogs. According to RCMP, the dogs did not belong to anyone, and therefore the attack is not considered a crime and no one will be held responsible. Powell called it a catch-22, saying that law enforcement and the province can really only intervene when animals are owned by someone or considered wildlife, and these dogs are technically neither. Nobody takes responsibility for stray dogs because they don't fall into wildlife because they're domesticated pets but they're considered strays so there's no person to take responsibility. Powell says this near-death tragedy highlights the need to be more proactive instead of reactive to the growing issue of stray dogs in the province adding that key stakeholders should support grassroots dog rescue operations from the perspective of community safety. What we have to really appreciate is that dogs are semi-domesticated predators. Debbie MacArthur, owner of Prairie Burn Canine Academy, says all dogs, even your pet poodle, have predatory instincts that can manifest given the right environment and circumstance. She says stray dogs breeding in the wild with little to no human contact could have formed a pack and seen this little girl playing outside as an opportunity to eat. Their wild instinct was to probably take advantage of a situation and hunt. In the meantime, Redhead says he would like to connect with veterinarian companies that can spay and neuter a large population of the remaining dogs to avoid further attacks on people or callings in the future. I think that would be the best approach for long-term solution here. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.